Hello everybody and welcome to the Mondovi branch line. Someday in HO scale. This is the bench work for the first section. It is 16 feet long, 24 inch shelf, 48 inches tall plus a couple more inches of foam. The masonite backdrop is installed now. We were going to use IKEA I-bar shelving, but they're out of stock everywhere in the country. A little closer here. We built a standard one by two legs, one by three braces, room for shelves and storage underneath. Front and back with L girders made of one by threes, foam glued straight to the one by threes. Masonite glued straight to the wall. Actually screwed, not glued. The backdrops from trackside scenery are on order. So this is Mondovi, which is the end of the line of a 37 mile branch. And some of the structures in the back here, we have the Lando Lakes Creamery. It's gonna be a background building to save space. It was the largest brick building in the railroad yard. That's a Campbell building. It's just a stand-in right now for a cannery that I'm going to have to build. And there was a standard oil dealer on a spur on this side. And that was the end of the track. Right behind that was the Buffalo River. Uh, this building is a stand-in for the lumber yard I'll build, but it's uh, the approximate shape and size of the Midland Lumber Company that was in town. Uh, right here there'll be a road. That was the, uh, the road that came from the main part of town into the railroad yards and uh, ended over here. Then there was the depot large stone Chicago Northwestern Depot. There were five elevators that from the side of the road along here, I'll probably model three of them. There's one so far. Well, the water tower will be gone in my era, but the water tower foundation was still there. The original pump house became a speeder shed, I believe. The uh, engine house was torn down by the 50s, but I may put it on a spur here anyhow, just because I have one. Be a nice place for the little Chicago Northwestern SW600 diesels to park. There'll be a couple of businesses here. There's a sawmill a cement platform and the first business coming in town was a pickle salting station yeah, it's just a billboard that i built last night that'll go on some country road out here and this is just going to be one track that comes through here eventually we'll cross over there and cross over here in the room where my workbench is. And we'll have two more towns, Oliva and Strum, Wisconsin. I have fascia for the front of the layout already cut. That will go there even with the foam. And then after the storage is all set up, we'll probably put some curtains after the wiring is all done. So the track plan from Arlen Colby's book on the Mondovi line. We're going to have to compress it and not use all of it, but it'll give me a good idea for how to use the track. So that's where I am. I might even put a crossing tower in Mondovi. Even though there wasn't one, it's still pretty cool. Thanks.